What gift has made you go? I never knew I needed that until now. A Kindle. I was all about having physical books, but as soon as I read it in bed and didn't drop it on my face and lose my spot, I was on board. Switching from a HD Kindle to a paper white was a great decision for me. Bluetooth headphones. I use them every day. I was against Bluetooth headphones for a long time. The idea of reduced audio quality, having another device to recharge UTC, didn't appeal to me. Then I finally decided to buy a pair and I couldn't be happier with them. They have noise cancelling, they play music answer calls automatically when you put them on, the battery lasts for days at a time, and they sound great. When I was rescued from my B.O. parents and got new ones one of the things they let me have was a thick cuddly zippered hoodie. I'd never had anything like that, and once I dared to wear it I loved it. This is so wholesome, the simple things can be the best. I'd just never had that. Nothing that sick, nothing that concealing, especially not around the house. A long phone charger. I underestimated its power until I no longer was tethered to the wall socket. I completely agree. I googled comically long phone cord, bought one and was not disappointed. I just got an extension cord at the dollar store. Also indispensable if you're in hospital. Or just use an extension cord. They sell them for about $1.50. Good Japanese kitchen knives. After years of using passable but unremarkable knives from Goodwill, I can never go back. As someone tired of using dull knives, which do you use? An immersion blender. It makes getting soups to just the right texture incredibly easy with very little mess. I gifted myself a bidet attachment for my toilet. There is no going back to normal bowel movements. It is both a blessing and a curse. First time I used one was in Japan. I'd like to get one, but I dk if I'm comfortable with the installation process. I have virtually no skill in home improvement, and it was the easiest thing ever. It's very easy. I have some handyman, but no plumbing experience, and I was able to install it myself with no problems. You can get an inexpensive one off Amazon, and install it yourself easy. I think the one I buy is like 25 US dollars. A blender. Didn't think I'd need it, as I have a small apartment with a tiny kitchen and not much space, but it is great for making sauces for cooking. Saves a lot of time. Also, most days I blend milk, fruit, and protein for breakfast. What kind of protein? I can't help picturing a banana, milk, and some chicken in a blender. Probably whey protein i.e. just powder with no flavoring or maybe banana, vanilla or chocolate flavoring. This sounds hilarious. A scoop of unflavored whey protein. A stuffed tunberry plush toy. It doesn't sound like much, but it motivated me to beautify my space, and I wake up sleep much happier because of it. Yeah but in 15 turns it's gone a knife you. Who off that dread seeing it get closer, when I was a kid killed me. HMM. I have two choices for a stuffed toy to sleep with, a beautiful bad with great plumage, or a knife wielding murderer take sneaks up on you, when you aren't paying attention. Let's go with the assassin. For my 18th birthday my friends got me a star and honestly I cried, when I saw the certificate. I honestly wish I had people in my life, that knew how amazing something like this would be to me. My family gives gifts that match their personality, that I won't ever use, and has no interest in finding out what I would actually like. My friend once bought me a Snuggie, and dropped it off with a note that said it was a hug. So the idea was any time I wore the Snuggie I would remember it was a hug from her, and let me tell you, every time I got cozy in that thing I remembered I was cared about by someone. This made me unexpectedly melt. My sister bought me an egg timer, but she knows I like to hover over my eggs, so she just bought me a little one you place on with your eggs and it slowly changes color, based on the amount the eggs are cooked. I love it so much, and I haven't had an overcooked egg since. A quesadilla press. I looked at them like the gift was a joke and I use it more than everything else in the kitchen. This was for another person. There were little, one, eight barrels, kegs of my sister's favorite beer on sale for $20. It was September and her birthday was in October, so I sent her a picture of it. She told me I need to save more and drink less. Little did she know it was for her. She loved it. Sadly, she hasn't drank at all since the accident.
My dad got me a bass guitar for Christmas, except that it wasn't put together. It was a DIY kit, and he was super excited to build it with me. Me and my dad haven't always been on the best of terms, and for a while I was always finding an excuse to put off building it. Then one day my brother asked me about it, and told me that I should build it. Well I finally decided to get started with my dad and it's really made things better between us. We just finished staining, and we're almost ready to begin assembly. This is an awesome story. I hope things continue to improve, and the base turns out great. A microwave bowl cozy. Basically a hot pad with a concave shape you can place under a bowl when you microwave it, so you don't burn your fingers if the bowl gets hot. It's the kind of thing you see at a farmer's market and ask who would waste money on that, then you get one and use it every day. IDK, but then I miss out on the game where I try and get the bowl to the table without dropping it and or burning off my fingertips. I win nearly every time. Try microwaving the food of choice at 80% or even 60% power of your microwave. If you are in the US I'd recommend the 60% for a longer period of time. Magically the food will be heated properly and the bowl won't be scorching. How dare you. My fingers are worth far less than my time or the luxury of eating thoroughly warmed food. I'm a trash person and deserve a hot bowl and cold food. I feel sorry for your fingers 3. Small, inside drone. So much fun with the thing. An electric knife. It's perfect for carving turkey breast and hams. So much easier than doing it by hand. Electric toothbrush. I never knew how good my mouth could feel, and how much additional confidence I could have talking to people. I always worried that my breath was awful, because almost everyone I talk to has bad breath. An air fryer. I use it a lot more often than I thought I would. There's so many things I can make in there instead of heating up the house from having to use the oven. I can make fagitus in 12 minutes. It's really easy clean up too. I remember I read about Tefl's earliest model in a science magazine almost 10 years ago, and I ordered it online, before they even released it in my country. I loved showing it off to everyone, and praised it dearly. It however broke after a couple of years, but I immediately bought another one. This one didn't have that spinning thing in it, and that was better, because that rotating thing crushed things like chili cheese. Microwave a frozen pizza slice and air fry a frozen pizza slice, it's two completely different outcomes. Come to think of it, I don't even own a microwave anymore. I have the air fryer and induction stove. A pigtail steak turner I'd always just use tongs and it never really occurred to me that there was a better option. That's piecing the meat and letting all the delicious juices out. It's a piece of meat not a plastic bag filled with water poking a few holes in it does not make all the moisture drain out like a bathtub. Enjoy your unnecessarily dried out steaks, I guess. A tool set, and a picture hanging kit. I was like UHH okay thanks. And then I needed to hang up some paintings and that came in clutch. The tool set is awesome too. No more looking around for the random screwdriver I know I have somewhere. It's a tradition in my family to give basic tool sets as high school graduation presents. Nothing huge, hammer, pliers, couple screwdrivers, tape measure, etc. Doesn't matter if you're moving into a dorm or into an apartment, it's a handy thing for someone just starting out to have. Pineapple Cora. Whole pineapple are way cheaper than pre-cut ones. A teacup that would hold the tea bag separately. Not a gift, but a tumbler post of a metal chair that instead of regular legs had metal spider legs. A good nail trimming kit. My father got me one around when I turned 18. I thought it was weird, but I've had that thing for well over a decade now, and it's so much better than any cheaper supermarket cheapo nail clipper. It has a fingernail clipper, toenail clipper, a good file, and for some reason a short straight razor. No idea what the razor is for. An electric egg cooker. My boyfriend bought it for me because he knows how much I love eggs and it's so handy. I'm taking it to college with me now. A Brita filter my parents got me one before I went off to college. And boy did I use that thing saved me so much money. Plush toys. Never was a fan of them as I got older until I was gifted with it when I fell ill. Now I sleep comfortably so soft and knowing they'll protect me haha. Tyvek wallets. I hate the way the most wallets are bulky badly designed. 
Now a Tyvek wallet may wear down, but it never actually fails, and it conforms to your card stuff. Plus they have great printed designs on them. My daughter. She was born on my 25th birthday, and I didn't even want kids. Frost guard for my car's windshield. Peels off any ice and snow a real lifesaver. My wife's been obsessed with the Fitbit line for years it used to be a bicep armband, then migrated to a bracelet, then a ring. I got one of the bracelets as a hand-me-down when she upgraded. It was okay, but broke about a year later. Haven't thought of them since. When the Fitbit started acting up again, she jumped to the Apple Watch. She got me one too like two weeks later and now I can't live without it. I still don't understand how a smartwatch can be useful. Like, I guess you could easily read texts without taking your phone out of your pocket? Text a speech or text back to someone. But outside of, that my imagination fails me. But people buy them so there must be something useful about them. It's not about how you use the watch, it's about how you don't use the phone anymore I glance at my watch, and reply to a text later when in ready, or not, and since I didn't dig out my phone there's no impulse, to check the ML or FASA book, or reply to that text from yesterday, it may sound crazy, but my Apple Watch literally freed me from the slavery most folks have to their phone. My mom got me a George Foreman grill for Christmas. Greatest. Gift. Ever. Aren't they portable? In college and thinking about living situation next year, this may be helpful. Yeah. Just slightly larger than a toaster and relatively easy to clean. I had a George Foreman for years and I loved it. However, my opinion, the quality is not what it used to be. I had one break after another over a couple years to the point where I just stopped using them. Then I got a Panini press from Kissinet that was a little more expensive than George Foreman grills, but so much better at his job. It has removable plates, which is fantastic for washing, and is a better system than the George Foreman removable plates. They're also reversible, so one side can be used as a grill or for nanny for us, and the other side is flat to use as a skillet. Front wheel drive self-propelled lawn mower. We got a Suze Vidi as a wedding gift. It has up my cooking game by 100% and takes so much work out of the process. I have no idea how I lived without this vital tool. I won a ninja bullet or one of those fancy blenders in a contest. It was well worth it as I can make smoothies at home. It blends them quickly and I have a healthy drink in a matter of minutes. You can also pour it in a Starbucks cup if you are feeling self-conscious lol. A hot shot. It's like a little kettle, and can boil up to two cups of water in under a minute. It changed my friend's life, when we gave her one, when she started university. An air fryer. It is the most useful thing ever. My insert whatever smartwatch you like best here. I got it as a Christmas gift, and wasn't too stoked for it. Not only does the calendar on it help me know what meetings I have next, but it's also made it, so I don't feel the need, to keep my phone as close to me anymore. It's really helped, cut back my screen time. When I was like 8 I was literally addicted to coffee, and never knew how amazing thermoses were until my father bought me one, and I loved it. That's how much I loved coffee. And I'm asked to wear when sleeping. I have started to feel noticeably more energized in the morning with a completely pitch black night of sleep. I think I would really benefit from wearing an eye mask at night, but the irrational side of me just freaks out at the idea of not being able to slyly peek open my eyes if I hear a strange noise in the night. Those ghost robbers are going to know they've been spotted if I move the mask. I sleep with the mentality of if I can't see them, they can't see me which is obviously false, but whatever helps me get to sleep it now? My pillow. Now cannot sleep without it. Thanks mom. A phone charger with metal sleeve around it. Usually a charger can last me a year. A metal sleeved one for $19 cat lasts me 3 as of now. Easily the best investment ever. A Roomba. The little guy just vacuums up all day and then makes his way back to his charging port. How do they handle larger dirt? A rest w o o d d y equals equals blanket, hoodie, and sweater all together in one. Bought my husband a towel warmer and those were pretty much his exact words. Never knew he needed or wanted it, until he got it. A breakfast sandwich maker. You put everything in there and it cooks all at once. A specific kitchen appliance that I love, and never would have bought, if someone didn't gift it to me. My friend in ceramics class made a turtle whistle. 
I didn't have a lot of money growing up. My thoughtful boyfriend now husband bought me my first pair boots for Christmas with money he had saved up. He even secretly estimated my shoe size by stealthily measuring my foot against his palm when we were play wrestling. He then asked one of my closest girlfriends to go shopping with him so he could make sure they were in style. We live in Canada and I used to commute 1.5 hours to and from my university. My feet had never been so warm that winter. Adjustable beard trimmer. The 5 o'clock shadow look is something I always wanted to pull off but didn't want to put much effort into. Now it's simple. Lockpick set. I have used it so many times all legally and in emergency scenarios. I was super scared about upgrading my phone to one without a headphone jack iPhone 6 at the time. Said I wouldn't need AirPods since I had numerous pairs of earbuds. The AirPods are actually really useful now with a feeling of freedom and power.